From the earliest horse-drawn buggy to Henry Ford's affordable mass-produced Model T, man has sought the most efficient mode of transportation. At first a mere means of conveyance, it didn't take long for the automobile to become available to everyone, and the age of customizing was born. From chop to drop, space to race, and from mild to wild, the automobile has taken many forms. By the late 1930s, the need for speed was quickly transforming the automobile. In the 1950s, the term hot rod was officially coined, and with the drive-in generation nurturing this trend, hot rods became as popular as reading glasses for chihuahuas. <clears throat> well, let's just say they were very popular. By the mid-1960s, street racing had become so popular that even the car manufacturers got involved. This was the dawn of the muscle car era. In 1971, in what most consider the muscle car's pinnacle year, Chrysler fused the legendary 426 Hemi with a compact and sure-footed Plymouth Barracuda. Now, nearly 40 years later, the 1971 Cuda is on record as the most valuable muscle car to date. By 1972, in response to an unexplainable increase in teen accidents, rising fuel costs, and unaffordable insurance, Detroit heeded the signs of the times and laid to rest the muscle car forever. Recently, automobile enthusiasts have raised the bar once again with the introduction of original equipment, or OE, restoration. They believe duplicating a car to original factory specifications stands as a symbol to our automotive heritage and the technology of yesteryear. Date-coded parts are documented, rivets and welds placed exactly, even assembly line markings and paint jobs are recreated, all for a car to look as though it just rolled off the assembly line. <laughs>